Greetings, my name is Drew, and I would love to thank you for joining me here at the Goulet Pen Company because today we are going to take a look at this fountain pen, the fountain pen within this, and it is the Y Studio Classic Revolve. Right from the get go here, you can see that things are packaged intentionally, and I appreciate that. So intentionally, Drew can't open it. Okay, here we go. All right, here we are. The Classic Revolve, the weight of words, you know, I mean, if this is the weight of words, then, you know, it's a box in a box, and there we go. This pen and the others like it. They come in black, blue, red, green, and brass. They're all made in Taiwan. The one we have here is the black one, and when I say it comes in brass, I really just mean it has no coating on it. They're all actually made of brass. We've got instructions here. And then we've got a piece of sandpaper. Now, this is unconventional, so we'll get to that later. And there's the pen. So, yes, this is a brass pen. However, as you can see, it is coated. They leave the facets, or the corners of the facets, exposed, and then they coat the flat parts. And as you can see here, there's some raw brass right there. Let's pull out the cap. So everything is very well packed. That's impressive. This is not going anywhere. This is clearly not a threaded cap. And then let's leave it misaligned, shall we? We're all comfortable with that, right? That doesn't bother any of us. No! Fix it. There we go. Whew. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's a very pretty pen. And look at this! A matchy-matchy converter. Look at that. All brassy and with the Y Studio logo on it. But... I heard something shaking in here. What is that? That's not a converter. I'll give you one guess. Oh, wait, hold on. As soon as I unscrewed this, I could feel an O-ring. It's a really nice, oh, nice smooth transition there. And there it is. There's the O-ring. Nice. I really love that. That's just a nice touch. And cartridge. Yep. If you guess cartridge, you win the grand prize. And look how well this matches. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh, wow, okay. You really kind of have to push that. It clicks in really solidly, though. So it's in there now, but it did take some effort. So I guess a little note there. So it's not it's not overly heavy for a brass pen, I'd say. And you can't post it either. So don't worry about it being back-weighted. This is just going to chill here. But it's faceted, so it's not going to roll away. At least there's that. There is also no clip. So this is not going to be clipping to anything. This is very much a throw it in your pocket, throw it in your bag type of pen. And I think that is what makes this pen really interesting. But let's get to that in a second. I did want to mention that it is a steel nib, and all of this is made in Taiwan, including the nib. Y Studio makes every little bit of this pen, and I really think that is neat. That's not always the case with fountain pens. Some pieces are made here, some pieces are made there. In the case of Y Studio, it's all made with Y Studio in Taiwan. Now these pens are interesting because the Y Studio Classic Revolves are made to be weathered. They are made to show wear and tear. Obviously this one is brand spanking new, so we've got clean black lines and brassed edges. However, they supply you this piece of sandpaper so that you can weather it yourself should you wish to go that route. That seems a little intimidating, and I don't have any experience in actually doing that. To me, it seems a little high risk, but you know what? I wouldn't be serving you if I weren't a little willing to do that myself, right? Let's give it a try. It does make me nervous, though. These pens are actually supposed to be beat up a little bit. Throw it in there with your keys. Seems a little counterintuitive, but let's go for it. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to fold this a little bit so I can get a better grip on it. And... Okay, so it's opening up those edges a little bit for sure. See, right now I'm just hitting the edges. It doesn't look like it's doing anything for the center piece. I'm going to try to get some right there in the middle. Oh, 
All right, let's take a look at this. So at first glance, I've made a mess. At uh, second glance, it really only appears to have opened up and made larger the parts of the pen that were already showing some brass. I thought I got pretty flat on these black parts, but all it did was create more of a matte finish than a glossy one. Honestly, this does not look as bad as I thought it would. I thought I was kind of in danger of ruining it, and you're definitely not. My whole thing was, should people be afraid of this? And I think the answer is no. I think the answer is just go for it. You can't really... I mean, I was not being tactful at all. You saw me. I was just going crazy, but I didn't destroy it. It still looks really good. Huh. I am curious about how other pens would look like if I did this. I mean, if this looks that good, maybe maybe something else. I have a, a Monteverde Ritmo right here. Maybe this pen would look good if I did that. Let's see. Hmm. No. Nope, that just looks... That looks bad. Oh, okay, the cap's not as shiny anymore. Okay, I've got a nice... I've got a nice brushed steel cap now. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm showing some, some brass around here. All right. Look at that. That's kind of interesting. But you know what? Let's let's make things really interesting. I have a custom 823 here by Pilot. This is a great looking pen. I love this pen a lot. Why don't we just try to go go to town on that a little bit and make it look even better, right? We're just on a roll. Hmm. Well, No, I don't think that I have helped things here. Right, well, we won't talk about that. Anyway, all right, I've got everything cleaned up a little bit here. And uh, after taking Wet Paper Towel to the Y Studio Classic here, the moral of this story is that it is really darn hard to truly screw up this pen. It's going to withstand some abuse, because that's pretty much what I just did. If you have this thing in your pocket with your keys, I can't imagine that this thing is going to end up looking ugly. If anything, it looks like these sides will wear out here and there. But I went hard on the flat parts, and I couldn't get any damage done. So this is going to be a great beat-em-up pen. If you wanted to just throw this in a... I mean, you could put this in a toolbox, and it'd probably be okay. So I am impressed. And if you ever considered getting one, or you have one, and you were afraid of using the sandpaper, uh, don't be. It can, it, can, it can stand up to uh, some adventures, I think. So take it on some adventures with you. This is definitely a good adventure pen, I'd say. Let's write with it. All right, I am using Robert Auster Summer Storm here. And it writes fantastic. I'm really enjoying this. This is a medium. They come in medium or fine. I don't think these I don't think this nib is too soft or too springy. I think actually for a steel nib, it actually has a little bit of bounce to it. Not anything that's going to be flexible like with uh time separation, but it's not it's not a nail, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's actually nice and comfortable. I quite enjoy that. And maybe you will too. Maybe you will enjoy the writing experience. Perhaps you will enjoy the option to really put this thing through the ringer. Or maybe you just think it looks rad. Either way, I think there are a bunch of reasons you may wish to consider the Y-Studio Classic Revolve 
Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me here for this little romp with you and me and the Y Studio Classic Revolve. I had fun. I hope you did too. If you'd like to see more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. We have a weekly pen cast, which is kind of fun as well. Most importantly, have fun and ride on. Talk to you later.